hope you guys are doing well so I want to talk about this it's it's huge and I oftentimes find clients who come to work with me who no longer want to do things the way they've been doing them maybe for quite some time but they have no idea how to get there or even what they desire to do next and I just completely understand that so much of your destiny the instructions the directions are inside of you and we've been taught to look outside of us and you know get inspiration and I believe those things are necessary in its own right but when it becomes the only way that we move forward in our life we're often confused because there's so many different things going on outside of us that are leading directing guiding nudging us and they're not always in alignment with our 3d essence right with what's going on with us and so I want to talk about that on today it is so important it's one of the reasons why when I'm working with clients I always talk about vision if I get an opportunity to work with people for extended amount amounts of time I always talk about vision because the number of people who I see who um, really want next but are unclear it's actually a lot larger than you think so if that's you and you may be saying yes I have evolved I've grown I started this thing and I loved it and I no longer want to do it the way that I've been doing it before but I have no idea like what I am going to do next this broadcast is definitely um, for you I see that people are coming on and tagging other people and bringing them in and I want to let you know that I appreciate you and value you so much that you think this information is valuable enough that you want other people to hear if you come on and you've been connected to me for quite some time and you think this is I know someone who needs to hear this message who needs an exit strategy who is looking to evolve in their brand um, be sure to share hit the share button share it out or tag an individual to, to come in and chat with us I'll even answer questions um, at the end of this particular broadcast if you're catching me on the replay hey hi hello I am Tanya Wilson I'm a master life and business coach I help women step into their personal power scale their businesses to six figures and beyond six and multiple six figures and also create a lifestyle that they love I personally my business my coaching business functions on three core principles and that is abundant mindset personal growth and business building I believe when all three things are in alignment in your life everything soars right when your thinking is in alignment when you've you know done some inner work um, and you have business strategies and things that are in alignment it makes for a successful round I would love for you guys to put in the comments um, say hello if you're not new here put hashtag renew renew is the name of my coaching and consulting business and if you are new let me know what type of business do you own how do you serve in the marketplace how do people get to experience your gifts and so this is a heartfelt um, broadcast for me because I I understand what it feels like to not know what you're going to do next now I will say that um, although I've experienced it before it wasn't for a long period of time hey Nikki how are you dear um, it wasn't for a long period of time because I just believe that God was I, I believe number one being connected and hearing from him was a definite aspect for me but it was when I began to understand what vision really was right because many of us have goals and we'll have these goals for 2023 we're gonna smash it or um, that we a goal may be I'm just gonna make a lot of money so maybe you open your business and your goal is just to make a lot of money but there is no strategy connected to that there is no evolution connected to that so what happens is you just continue to work and before you know it 5 10 15 even 20 years has gone by 
and for the most part you're still doing the same thing that you were doing before or maybe you know you're not where you really desire to be in your finances or even your fulfillment because fulfillment is huge guys right so it's a huge part of the dynamics of how you earn money and what I mean by that is a lot of the energy needed to earn large sums of money is based on how you feel although there are times when we cannot allow our emotions to get in the way of what it is that we have to do at some point it your how you're feeling how you're being is going to roll over into your business process and so I want to talk today for those of you maybe you opened your business maybe you have been doing your thing and you've had some successes but you're at the point where you're like okay there's got to be another level for me I, I want to step into a new role I want to do this differently I call this the ultimate stretch goals right for business owners those of you especially who are service providers coaches teachers trainers um, those of you who provide a service maybe you work or own a <clears throat> work in or own a brick and mortar service based business so I owned a brick and mortar service based business for over a decade prior to coaching and consulting full time it was in the beauty health wellness um, industry and it, it's so amazing because I'm just watching things come full circle for me now but guys I know it's because I have vision I know because I wrote it down let me say what vision is first so a goal is just a goal if it doesn't have dates and strategies attached to it it's kind of actually still in the dream stage is this making sense so without dates and strategies attached to it then it is kind of like something that you're just thinking about or dreaming of but with vision there is strategy attached to it you have decided in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, this is where I'd like my life, my business, and things to be for me, right? And then you reverse engineer it so that this entire time, these five years that you've been doing what you do, this 10 years that you've been doing what you do, the, the 15, the 20 years that you've been putting into the thing that you do has collectively been to purposely, intentionally get you to another space. I hope this is making sense guys right because if not it's easy to keep going but to keep going doing things that are not necessarily fulfilling or getting you to what it is that you truly desire so I'm gonna talk about three phases now success for everyone is different but for the women that I've been working with and that I've been attracting into my brand this has been a great like basic framework to really think about as it relates to the evolution of your brand or even a, an exit strategy right because we can start a thing I was thinking about this earlier when I was thinking about coming on how easy it is to start a thing and then for some reason or another we just kind of um, expect that thing to just kind of work out um, but how many of you know it normally does not work that way right I, I don't know I think we've just, we've just missed the space of someone sharing with us that it was more than just opening the business, right? We said, if I open the business and I work hard, I'm going to be successful. But there are some deep, detailed things that if we are not, you know, really taking a deeper look and going within on what it is we really desire, it's easy to find ourselves in this place of complacency. And I even thought about marriage because most of us, you know will say I'm gonna I'm getting married and it's going to be forever but in actuality there are times of evolution even within the marriage a 20-year marriage could be five different marriages in that 20-year time frame does that make sense I don't mean with different people I mean with the same person because we we have people who are evolving and changing and, and growing and the way you used to do marriage won't work for how it needs to be in this season as you guys have grown and progressed no different with the business but oftentimes we don't think that so we continue to do the same thing in a new season expecting different results here we go talking about stretch goals um, the evolution of your brand and exit strategy 
So one of the first things I suggest is finding a skill that you can master that allows you to earn at minimum six figures from that skill set, right? So what this may mean for you is there may be some things you need to cultivate, something you need to decide, um, something, some simplification, because most people think that it means I need to do more when most oftentimes there's a simplification process that needs to take place. But this is the first thing I feel you should do. So for me, um, that was the skill set that I did in the beauty industry, earning a six-figure salary in that and then opening a brick-and-mortar service-based business where I hired people. So I had about 12 staff members on my team. This will take you to the second part. So once you've gotten this thing that you can earn six figures in, and um, then you would either start hiring, delegating, or duplicating. Hiring, dedicate, delegating, or duplicating. Now, I do believe in hiring before six figures, depending on your business. I would have to look at your business and see what it is, but there's so many people that need to hire way before six figures. But I'm just saying, if you don't, <laughs> right? If you've hustled your way to six figures and you're at the point where you know, you're really wanting to do things different, then you're also at a good space to be able to hire people, right? So hiring, delegating some things out, or duplicating. Duplicating may be um, hiring people that can do some of the things that you've been doing that will earn you more money for the business that you're operating in. I hope this is making sense. We're talking about exit strategy, the evolution of, of your brand, and most people don't think about this. It's at the time, and, and this is a, the beautiful thing because I find that most people who step into a space of mastery with what they do and they create this um, six-figure income from a skill set, this is when things start to branch off for them. So they may find out that there's something that's not quite the same thing that they were doing before that they actually want to do now. But if they look within, they will find that there are many things that they learn while getting to the levels of mastery for that six-figure income that will also work for this next thing that they're wanting to do. Hope this is making sense. <clears throat> and the next phase of this exit strategy or the evolution of your brand would be that you get to the point where you can teach, coach, or train that skill set or a skill set that you have mastered. Because most people, especially if you're providing a service that's like hands-on or you're working directly with people or you're trading time for dollars, you're trading your hours for money, you have to be um, in position in order to make money. Whereas as a coach now, people can sign up and I don't have to be on the phone with them. Um, I have courses and things that people can take and get work, right? They get the transformation without me necessarily being on the phone or on the call. And so this next phase would be where you get to the point where you can teach or train the skill set. Now that could look different in different ways. Your teaching could be through speaking engagements. Um, it can be through workshops. It can be through coaching. Um, it can be through offering trainings. I have a client who came to work with me for three months and she does a two-day training that's like four thousand and some dollars right from her skill set from something that she has mastered it's two days it's not like she's teaching it 30 40 days or whatever the case may be and she still owns a brick and mortar business though right and she has staff and team and all of that other stuff and so it may not look the exact same for you as I have detailed it out. But it is important that you get connected to a vision that's bigger than your past so that you can create a future bigger than your past. There's nothing like um, doing something for so long and not knowing what you want to do next and being burned out just from the sheer fact that you're uncertain. And it doesn't mean when you create this vision for your life. So in 2001, I wrote down this 20-year plan. And I believe that 
at that time I had just I don't even know where I was introduced to vision I believe it was through scripture really and I think as I began to study and because I read it in scripture I believe it was now accessible to my ear so it could have been something I had been hearing for quite some time um, and never paid it any attention like my level of awareness may not have been connected to it but I believe it may have been scripture that I read vision in I'm just imagining because I really cannot pinpoint where I began to study vision and where it became super super important to me but I had to hear it from somewhere and I, I believe it was scripture and I think at that point I stepped into a new level of awareness and I am a an avid learner and so I took time to really study it and then I found it everywhere and um, you know I wrote down this like 20 year goal plan and I watched how things just started like I lost the book that I put it in but I watched how things manifest it was maybe like a six year time frame and I found the book again and I was like oh my gosh like oh my gosh and so I wanted to talk about that with you like do you have an exit plan do you have a strategy of evolution for your brand one beautiful thing one of my mentors shared with me was that there will be a certain age point that I would reach where things just kind of needed to be flowing in my life right to where I wanted it to be she said the energy the drive all of those things would change and when I heard that I think I was maybe 38 um, when she shared that with me and I took that thing serious now I had already started um, being connected to vision but I took that piece of information serious and I've been able to guys I knew when I turned 40 that I wasn't going to have to trade my time for dollars I've been preparing for that through my vision and it's not that as I was originally creating the vision it's not that I had all of the answers I hope this is making sense because some people won't move forward because they want to know all of the how what is it going to look like you're not going to know all of the how that next level of trust you have to tap into that next level of trust believing that this thing these desires that are placed in your heart and this thing that you desire if you take the first step the provision for it right because you're connected everything in God's universe is going to line up to give you the people you need to be connected to the resources all of the things my daughter and I um, she's still filling out more um, scholarships and I'm just like it's so amazing and um, it touched me from a heart space as well for the number of people who think they don't qualify for the number of people who just cross things off their list as not possible for them because they can't see it in there right now so I mean when I'm thinking about college I'm thinking about the kids who automatically have this limiting belief that has been taught to them about how expensive college is and that they won't be able to afford it but there are so many things that I didn't even know that are available to help you know our, our children to, if they desire to go to college college was not something that I um, made as mandatory for my daughter and you know some people may knock me for this but I didn't because I knew so many people who had gone to college and gotten degrees and weren't working in them and were still paying the debt from the college degrees and a lot of that was because they lacked this very thing we're talking about which is vision and most people when they find themselves stuck there they, they say well let me go get another certification or let me go get another degree but for what what is it going to be for have have you figured how it's going to be in alignment or connected to what you desire to do next this is why I feel so many people have degrees that they aren't using because it's not connected to a vision right they haven't gone within and figured out who they are as a brand so that everything they do is in alignment with that but anyway I was thinking about children um, who do desire and had the dream of going to college and didn't know that there were so many things offered that would allow them the opportunity especially if the grades were there for them to be able to go and there are adults who feel the same way about opportunities and 
uh, things that they know they need, like they get this nudge or this feeling in their heart, this is my next move. But the fear, that word, I can't afford it. It's not for me. Listen, I, I always say this thing. Um, I say, listen, three days is a long time. You know, for those of you who are believers, a whole lot transpired in three days. Right. And so it's just a time vision will help you to increase your faith. Um, it will help you to focus because when you're connected to a vision that's taking you somewhere, you begin to start ignoring all of the stuff that's not in alignment with it. Right. So absolutely love vision. And I think I kind of jumped back and forth. I did want to touch bases on when I was talking about college um, with my daughter. I want it to be clear for those of you who come on, I'm not saying that um, I don't believe in education. I absolutely do. Uh, but I believe that we have gifts and talents. And I do come from an entrepreneurial family. So I understand that success is not in the degree. It's not. It's so much more to your success than just a degree. And all of the millionaires that I know and all of the ones who have come to me for work in their business, they don't have degrees. And one of them that has a degree, it was from a t technical school. It wasn't a um, bachelor's um, degree and they're, they're not using it, right? So I am a component for education, but I feel that really understanding what you desire is really huge for your life. It, it will save you a lot of unnecessary stuff, right? And it'll keep you so connected as you grow and evolve. So three things in your exit strategy or your evolution. Number one, find a skill set that you can master where you can earn $100,000 at, at minimal. Right. I think one hundred thousand dollars should be your floor, not your ceiling. And then move to a new role, whether that's hiring, delegating or duplicating, hiring, dedicating, hiring, delegating or duplicating. Right. Uh, now, you may own what that would look like for a coach. Maybe you have a, a, a series of uh, things that you've created and now you bring other coaches in who can help teach and facilitate those particular things. If it's a wellness center, you can bring other people in who you can have them duplicate the processes, the systems that you've created to be able to help and serve even more people, right? And then the last one is to get to the place of mastery where you can teach and train that skill set. It could be through speaking engagements. It could be as a coach, a health coach, a wellness coach, a business coach, a strategist, you know, some coaching realm. Um, even for those of you, you may be a trainer in a specific thing, but that is an excellent, um, simplified exit strategy. Something to think about. So I think it's important to have the end in mind when you start a thing. Does that make sense? I don't mean have a negative mindset where you're saying, oh, this is gonna be over with soon. But no, keep the end in mind so that you're doing things that will get you to the destination that you really desire to be to. That's my take, three things. Find a skill set you can master and earn $100,000 from. Then move into a new realm, either hire, delegate, or duplicate and then begin to teach, train, coach in that skill set. It will provide an exit strategy for you. It gives you time to evolve. It allows your brand to evolve, evolve and it keeps you continuously growing as far as your money is concerned. Hope this is making sense. That's my take. You guys have a super amazing, blessed evening. For those of you, if you're like, okay, one of those areas that I named you know that is your next message me here to see how I can offer you support in whatever it is that you desire to do. I do private VIP coaching. I have masterminds and uh, an academy for women in business and we can find out what way is going to support you best depending on what stage of evolution you're at as it relates to your brand 
and your exit strategy. That's my take. You guys have a good one. Peace and abundance.